uh, zero. Then using KCL at this node, and then we obtain I T here. I T uh, equals to the I C plus I R two. Yeah, and I C equals to the C D D T. I R two equals to the T T divided by R two. <clears throat> so combining these two equation, okay, so we replace or we substitute the I here with the term here. So L D I D T becomes L, and inside parenthesis, yeah, uh, C D V D T. Okay, uh, but since it is now de derived again over T. So it becomes C D square V D T square. And this becomes one over R2 D V D T. Okay, these terms. R1 I T we replace with I we replace with this term. So it becomes R R1 times V T over R2 plus C D V D T. Then plus V T equals to zero. Okay. <laughs> then we simplify this further. So we regroup the second order term with second order, first order term here with the first order. So then we obtain the square V dt square E plus one over R to C, this part, one. Uh, uh, and then normalizing, yeah, since this is uh, the terms, the, v, the square V dt is, has, has the LC as the coefficient, so we divide everything with LC. So we divide here, becomes the one over R to C, uh, yeah. Then this this what becomes one over, we can what becomes what R one uh, over L, R one over L from here, okay, R one over L if we dt, the zero order is R one plus one, sorry not R one plus R two R one. R1 plus R2 over R2 LC VT. Okay, so this R1 uh, plus this part. Then we simplify further. We insert the value of R1, R2, L, and C. This become this one. V square V DT square T plus 6 DV DT plus 9 VT equals to 0. Okay, then. <clears throat> This is the characteristic equation, s square plus 6s plus 9, from which we can obtain the root. Yeah, the root is s equals to minus 3. So this is, we have two equal root in real number. So this is over them case. Uh, from here also, we can calculate the omega n, which is 3. We can have the zeta equals to 1. Yeah, the solution will be the third part, the third case. Yeah. Vt equal exponent minus 3 here. Uh, minus uh, the, the, the damping, the minus s. Yeah, s is minus 3. 3t three plus uh, multiply to b1 plus b2t. Yeah, then the initial condition is given. Equal the v at 0 equals to vc at 0 equals to 1 fold. So then there is no switching. No discontinuity at t equals to 0. Then we use t equals 0 or t equals to zero plus. KCL at t equals zero plus. I zero equals to the IL zero. Since the, the value for the IL zero is given here, 0 0.5 ampere. So this equals to the V zero divided by R2 plus C dVdt. Okay, so it means since V at zero is one fold here, this is one fold. Yeah, one fold divided by R2 is 8 ohm, and IL is 0 is 0 0.5 ampere. Then we uh, C is given also 1 farad. We obtain DVDT at 0 equals to 3. Okay, then, so V at 0 uh, equals to 1. Yeah, v at 0 equals to 1 here. Exponent uh, 0 equals to 1 also, and T. This becomes zero, so uh, one equals to b one. The value of b one is one. And using the initial equation, uh, initial condition for dv dt, which is three, yeah, uh, dv dt here equals to minus three. 
exponent minus 3t yeah, times this equation so from which we obtain uh, minus 3v0 plus v2 equals to 3 and then we obtain v2 equals 6. The general equation, the, the general solution will be et equals exponent minus 3t times 1 plus 6t for t larger than 0. And we, if we draw, so this is the case of uh, of a damn case, yeah, of a damn case like this. Okay, final example here, we have capacitance connected in parallel with, in series with 3 ohm and then with parallel with 6 ohm and then with 2 Henry inductance in this connected with 12 volt voltage source at t equals zero, the switch is turned off. So it means then it is not connected anymore with this 12 volt voltage source. Once the switch opens, the circuit becomes an RLC series, right? Because when the switch is open, this is not of concern anymore. So this just become one single circuit RLC. So uh, initial condition here is given. Uh, this initial condition is not given. Yeah. Once the switch open, so this is the equations 3i plus 2 di dt here plus Vc, the voltage condition, initial voltage of at the capacitance, then integral of 1 over L I uh, dx yeah, the, in, at the inductance. So then uh, you can further derive, becomes uh, di square dt and then normalize di square d square i dt square t plus 3 over 2 di dt plus half i t. So from here, we obtain the characteristic equation s square plus 1.5 s plus 0 0.5 equals 0. The root is minus 1 and minus 0 0.5. So we have two real uh, roots. Yeah. So this is the case, case 1. Yeah. Case 1 is uh, under the, uh, sorry, not under them. Yeah, uh, the, over over them, yeah, over them. Circuit. So this is the equation. To find the initial condition, use steady state analysis for t less than zero. T less than zero. This is connected. So this is steady state. So this is disconnected. So this is this becomes a short circuit. Yeah, short circuit like this. So from which the voltage is equal to zero here. Then voltage at C here equals to zero volt, okay, because no current flowing through here. Yeah, so this is zero volt. Di dt at uh, this voltage, uh, this capacitance is also zero. Okay, well the current flowing through the inductance is twelve volt divided by six equals to two ampere. Analyze the circuit at T just after the circuit is switched open. So the current at zero plus will be equal to two uh, ampere, yeah, because uh, if this is switch off, no current flowing through this branch, the two ampere here flows through the capacitance, yeah, so equals to two ampere. So from here, then we obtain two uh, K. <clears throat> Uh, 2 equals to k1 plus k2 and and we obtain uh, from the derivative 0 equals to minus k1 minus k1 half k2 and this is the from the derivative here so from these two equation we can solve for k1 and k2 and the it then becomes minus 2 exponent minus t plus 4 exponent minus t over 2 for t larger than 0 oh okay, there's another one Example, final example. We have here a circuit connected to a independent current source to ampere at before t equal to zero, the switch is at this one. Yeah? So when the t is equal to zero, it is switched here. So means current flowing only through this uh, circuit. Yeah, not so this becomes a series RLC also. 
Yeah, when currently switch to position two. So the V output T here equals to two times I T. For T larger than zero, it is an RLC circuit. First, we use KVL uh, to derive this equ uh, the, the equation for the this circuit when T larger than zero, like this. So we then obtain the second order differential equation. This for I D T square P plus four D I D T plus three I T equals zero. The characteristic equation is S square plus four S plus three. Then we obtain two uh, real roots, which is the case for uh, over them, yeah? over uh, over them circuit. So it becomes like this. Then now we need to find K1 and K2. To find K1 and K2, we use the condition at steady state before T is switched. So at, before T is switched, this is open and this is short circuit. Uh, so the voltage here, then uh, the current will flow here like this. So this becomes uh, current flow minus two ampere, yeah, upward. So because the current flowing downward basically, then the voltage at the C equals to zero because no current is flowing through here. Yeah, this is open circuit basically, and analyzing the circuit at T zero plus, the current at zero plus here uh, when this is just switched to position two the current flowing through here will be equal to this minus two ampere yeah? then v c at uh, zero plus equal to c the idt from the differential form of capacitance law the the derivative of this constant is zero so from here then we put this into this equation uh, i zero is equal to uh, zero ampere. Then k one plus k two equals uh, sorry, so not zero ampere yeah, but uh, minus two ampere yeah, minus two here. So k one plus k k two equals to minus two. Di dt at zero plus equals to zero. So minus k one minus three k two yeah, from derivative here equals to zero. From these two equation, we obtain k one equals to minus three, k2 equals to one. And it equals to minus three exponent minus three t plus one exponent minus three t, like this. The output becomes two, because the resistor is two ohm, two times it, like this. Okay, I think I will make it enough for the this specifically similar example, like the previous example. So. Uh, you, can, you can read the slide yet, yeah, which I have uploaded in the Google Classroom. So that will be all for the 